Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Dapper Glen Farm in Stardew Valley. And yeah, okay, it's it's time. <laughs> that is such a beautiful, beautiful table, but it is way, way too big. Let's pop that over there. Okay, now the first thing that we're going to do today, because we already know that we have nothing that we need to do today specifically, we can instead. Uh, I think we're going to potter around the farm a little bit. Before heading to the mines, I think uh, today's going to be a bit of a mining day. Right, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Going to be beautiful and sunny, okay. And, well, wait, how are you feeling? This is rare. The spirits feel absolutely neutral today. That's interesting. I don't actually think I've seen that uh, response from Wellwood before. I guess it is quite rare. And we're living off the land. There's a couple of fish you can only find in winter. Squid and lingcod. Squid can be caught from the ocean in the evening. Lingcod cannot be... Uh, sorry, can be found in fresh water all day. Of course, there's rumours of extremely rare and unique fish that can only be found in a particular season, but I don't have any information on them. Okay, well, fair enough. Now, just to refresh our memory uh we don't have to uh, there's nothing we need to do for the next three days technically but uh, next episode is going to be harvey's birthday and the episode after that and in fact the one after that the night market i am extremely <laughs> excited to check out what the the uh the night market is going to be about all right okay well uh, first of all so we've got a little bit of mail oh i like this song uh we've got Dear Avak, here's a vegetable from the little garden I keep out back. You probably have more veggies than you know what to do with, but oh well. Thank you very much, Caroline. That's really kind. Right, let's go ahead and pop this over here. And while we're doing that, let's uh, grab these wiggly worms. Yoko, oh, there you are. Got a dark caryat. Now, um, let's make sure that we don't water Yoko accidentally, because it's really cold. And I can only imagine that would be bad. Right, for those who are often commenting that the fish want to say something, we already know that they want two amethysts. Unfortunately, we don't have two amethysts. I get this comment on almost every video at this point. It's actually becoming a little bit funny. But uh, unfortunately, there's nothing you can do until we have more amethysts. So that's why I don't make a point of checking that out every single time I pass, because I would literally just be repeating myself. So as soon as we have the means to fulfill that quest, we will take care of it. But until then, there's not much we can do Unfortunately, you need to grab that as well. Ah, I was going to keep those. Well, sh shenanigans. That's what we're going to say. Uh, right, let's uh, pop that down there. There we go. And we can now finish off this wall as well, which I'm extremely happy to do. There we are. Now, that's going to mean that we've got all of this area for grass for our... Uh, for our animals to graze on. I think that's going to be marvellous. Actually, one last thing that we need to take care of is currently they would be able to get out through here. So we'll also pop down one final little gate right here just to keep the uh, the animals from getting to the rest of the farm. We'll pop down two little lights there as well. There we go. Right, let's check in on our cows. They're all going to still be too young yet for milking. But let's make sure that they're happy. There we go. And pop down some fodder for you. I'm sorry you can't go out and run around the farm yet. You you haven't even seen the farm yet. I feel quite bad. And how are our chickens today? They are doing quite well. There we go. Though, that being said, it looks like there's only three eggs. Hmm. Maybe not as well then. Maybe not quite as well as I would hope. There we are. Let's get all those going. Oops. And some fodder for you as well. There we are. And with that, we've taken care of all of the animals for the day. So, the rest of the day is ours to do with as we please. I think we'll... Ooh, we've got a warp totem to the beach. Marvellous. I think what we're going to do then is we're going to head down into the farm. Uh, into the into the mines. Into the farm. We're at the farm now, uh, let's drop that off. We'll try and organize my inventory before we head out. Uh, there is no way that I'm going to see Rasmodius right now, so let's pop that in there. And finally, let's drop off... Uh, yeah, we don't need any of these with us now at all. I do need to drop off these, though, as well. Right, there we go. And we should be able to pop another load of tea on as well. Ah, oh, that's marvellous. 
you got quite a lot of things done today, actually. Quite a lot of things done. All right, there we go. I'm going to drop off the totem as well. Anything else we need to pop in there? No, I don't think so. Oh, actually, I need to pop that uh, potato in here too. There we go. Right, well, we just want to pop this into the recycling, and that's it. You know what? I would... Oh, well... Ooh, no. I was going to say, the only reason I would go into town today is to deliver the uh, mayo to Pierre directly, but we can actually go and, and uh, drop that aquamarine off. That Quite a few people have, have noticed I haven't popped into the dye bundle yet. Also, there was a bit of cognitive dissonance there because we were listening to summer music in the middle of winter. Uh, that That is why why my uh, words seem to stall for a second, because my brain was stalling. Uh, right, how wanted. Slime hunter to slay four red slimes in the deep lava caverns. Ooh, we may be able to do this one. That's very good timing. What a dar, Abigail. Another year is almost over. It goes by so fast, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, have a cuppa. Hey, how do you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. I hope it is delicious. Uh, no. Uh, also no. There we go. I would like to deliver all four of these mayonnaises and get quite a bit of cash out of that, actually. Now, Pierre, can I give you any more presents? Uh, no, I cannot. Can I give Caroline any more presents? I can. And yes, I know, I've already given Caroline all the gifts that I can give. It doesn't matter. Let's go and uh, pop into the tea sanctuary. Ah. Uh, here we go, Caroline. You're giving this to me? I'm speechless. You're more than welcome, and this is an auspicious place to share the gift of tea. In the place where tea began, the origin point of tea itself. Uh, right, let's organize my inventory a little bit better. All right, we've got to take the aquamarine over to the, uh, the community center, and that will be us done for the day. In the town, the rest of the day can be spent down the mines. It's it's about midday, and you know what? Getting to the mines around midday isn't so bad. It isn't so bad. I would like to get there a little bit earlier, but... Uh, oh, look, I'm a farmer. I've got lots of things I need to do every morning. There we go. And done. Right, okay. Now to make our way over to the mines. And if we do happen to pass by uh, any peeps along the way, then we can have a quick chat as well. Uh, have I got food with me? Yes, I do. I've got quite a lot of food, actually. I'm probably going to... Well, you know what? I will bring the cake with me. Thinking about it. I will bring the cake with me. And what have we got over here? You've got some mixed seeds. Very well. Thank you very much. Hello, Linus. Right. Let's duck into the mines and see what we can do with half a day. Pop all of this down. We're obviously going to be keeping the tea with us. Don't need the scythe, the uh, the axe, the fish... Well, no, no, we don't need the fishing rod either. Or the watering can. There we go. We are all set and ready to go. Okay. Down we go to level 80 and to the lava caverns, I do believe. Oh, hello. Uh, I mean, I know this is not exactly the nicest way to say hello to someone, but uh, wow, solar essence already, I believe. Uh, in fact, this uh, this area looks quite nice. Got a lot of uh, collectibles around. Yoink. And let's clear this out. Some gold. Now we need to find the stairs. Or a secret note. Oh, and the stairs. Marvellous. Right, well, actually, first, let's check out that secret note, shall we? Uh, in fact, let's move most items down onto the lower level. That I'm not going to be picking up in the the far, uh, in the mines itself. It's a page from M. Jasper's book. The creatures known by some as forest spirits or junimos are said to appear in abund abandoned buildings after they've gone to seed. As a general rule, when humans leave, the nature begins to reclaim her territory. The junimos will undoubtedly appear. Folk wisdom holds that junimos display some kind of resonant affinity with gemstones that are placed inside their little huts. Of course, all these claims come from dubious and verified sources. As far as I know, even the mere existence of the creatures has never been proven. Hmm, gemstones within their hearts. I see. Interesting. Very, very interesting, in fact. I, I saw you down there. Nope. I'm afraid not. 
I wouldn't mind another solar essence. Thank you. Ouch. Oh, you're fast. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to pickaxe your... Uh... Come on. No, what? I'm not sure I was going to be able to pickaxe that uh, top off there. Some decent gemstones. Nice music, too, actually. There we go. Ah, oh, emerald. Fantastic. What we need, though, is amethyst. And you're the lava slimes. I'm assuming. I assume that you are indeed lava slimes. And not just slimes that happen to be the color of lava. Nope. Nope. Definitely not to you. You move way too fast and you do too much damage. There we are. Two stairs down already. And let's get through you. Thank you very much. I'll go ahead and I'll clear out this area a little bit more, but uh, you sometimes find some decent uh, items in the fibers. All right, let's make our way down to the next level. I will also grab these large stones there. And we've already got a little bit more quartz. Thank you. And some sort of chest. Nothing too interesting there, but that's fine. Okay, now we're starting to see some decent drops. We've got rubies there. And another emerald. Now, what was it that we needed for the community center? Hmm, let me just have a quick look. I think it's an iridium bar, actually, we need for the uh, dye bundle. So that will not really be helpful to us. Well, hello. I'm a little bit concerned about letting you down here, but sure, fine. Let's uh, try and get up here. Nope. Nope. Double nope. There we go. Oh, you're not gone. Uh, there we are. All right. I think we may have just completed the quest. Slay monsters. Yeah, talk to Lewis. Okay. Well, that one won't be too hard. Now, it is Thursday, so tomorrow I know he's going to be at the saloon. We could wait to go and see him there. Or we can continue uh, down and uh, check out with him a little bit sooner than that. So we'll have to leave the caves a bit earlier than intended to be able to uh, find Lewis. Though that being said, I might be able to get into his house even after it's uh, after dark, depending on how high our friendship level is. Like, right, okay, this is a very nice level here. It's a lot of gold as well. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. At this point, I very much doubt we're going to need to um, purchase any more uh, gold ore from Clint. Though that being said, if we're like shy one ore, you know, it makes sense to uh, just uh, employ a fairly deep wallet in order to uh, expedite the process of getting the ingots we need. There we go. Now that being said, if we do end up with enough ore, I wonder, should we go ahead and upgrade our... Uh, our tools even further and if so which tools first the pickaxe is a solid option because it's going to facilitate getting even more ore uh, of course then we've got the watering can the hoe uh oh no thank you you stay back or not it's entirely up to you there we go Ooh, big bomb thank you but i think the pickaxe is going to be the one that we go for first that will probably come after making the required um, sprinklers, though, for our for our garden. I think that'll be a decent one. Nope. Okay, you are perhaps going to be a bit of a scallywag. Yes, you are. Nope. Please stop. Nope. No more of that, please, and thank you. Nope. Whoa. Okay. I had forgotten about them. But we've made it down one extra level. I think we'll we'll try to speak with Lewis tomorrow. Uh, that being said, let me just double check. Uh, yeah, we've got two days. So we'll speak with Lewis in the saloon tomorrow, I think, on that one. Rather than leaving right away. We may be able to get down another uh, five levels if we stick around. Nope. Ouch. Okay, you do hit quite hard. Uh, at this point, I think it's time for our chocolate cake. Chomp, chomp. Ah, perfect. Also, a little bit more tea. That is bound to help with things. And I don't need to take you out, little slimes, because uh, I already got a, a stairs onto the next level, so I'll take that instead. There we go. A little bit more gold as well. Always happy to accept. Uh, are we actually going to get any bats running around? Nope. Nope, please. Stop. 
being a scoundrel. I really need some more knockback on my weapons. My goodness. Uh, got ooh, a red mushroom. Okay. Nope. You're probably still going to do a little bit more damage, but... Oh, no. Okay, fair enough. Uh, all right. Well, it's 8.50. If we're particularly lucky, we might be able to make it down to the next... Uh, to level 90. I'm not entirely sure about that, though. Okay. Uh, I would like your fairly rare items. Uh, the essence there. Ooh, lava bats. And I definitely want that gold. So, please and thank you. Nope. Nope. There we go. Uh, Alright. Did we get many... Many... Uh, Void essence from there? I didn't actually notice if he dropped very many, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. Right, we only need three more levels to go. Nope. Afraid not. Uh, oh, we've got the emeralds over here. No amethysts yet, though. Ah, uh, emeralds? Rubies. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, there we are. And let's go and grab these as well. There we go. And with that all done... Uh-oh. This may get a little bit more complicated then. Uh, can we handle the potential damage output? Probably. We probably can, yes. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. Uh, the bis oh, yeah, I'm definitely risking for a biscuit, given all that. But... Nope. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Nope. Just need to keep... Hacking away. Oh, 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 oh. Plomch. Need to get this down in my belly. And another one, please. Okay. Whew. That was potentially terrible. It would be great if I could change direction when I mean to. Okay. Well, the worst part of that is now over, so we should be okay. Got one or two more that I need to take out, but other than that, we should be all right. There we go. Now, I'm not sure we're going to get down to level 90 at this point, given how late it is. But we can at least get the last little bits and bobs from in here. There we go. I think it would be silly to pass up on these materials. There we are. I've got a little bit of gold up there I want to grab as well. There's the uh, replaced aquamarines. And some diamond, I believe. There we go. And some gold up here as well. And with that, we're going to leave. It's 12.10 in the morning. I'll just head on down and then straight back up. Let's go and grab what we need. Now, quite a lot. I think we've got enough room. Yes, we do. Perfect. Okay. And with that, let's grab the minecart all the way home. Oh, my Lord. So many wiggly worms. You're trying to make me get caught out, aren't you? You're in cahoots with Joja. Uh, there's nothing I can drop. That makes me sad. What about you? I will drop something for that. Um, uh, I guess the fibers. <laughs> there we go. The fibers will reseed, I'm sure. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and drop off everything because we've got a lot of stuff that we've managed to uh, pick up there. I've uh, got uh, so much, so much gold. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's grab the gold back out and, well, we're not going to need to uh, process the copper. We're not going to have time for it. There we go. We're going to be processing that gold for a while, I should imagine. But let's see if we can't get everything stored away. Nice and quickly. Now we want the emeralds, the rubies, the uh, aquamarine. Uh, we'll drop off all of the monster gubbins. I guess the bomb. I'll pop her into my equipment slot. Uh, that'll be fine. A red mushroom. Uh, well, first, let's drop off all the forage items there. Crocus can go up here. Actually, I should move the daffodils uh, as well. Oh, snow yam. Yeah. I did not go into the forage. Very well. 
Let's uh, move that back down here, and I'll grab the daffodils. And, yeah, you know what? Dandelions can move as well. They are they are flowers, actually. Holly is as well, technically. Um, ah, but I do believe that we had agreed, uh, sadly, that I was going to, regardless of what they were, I would put them in the chest that uh, was dictated by what the game called them. Oh, well, that's fine. All right, I will leave the bomb here. As I don't really see much reason to take it elsewhere, I will leave the crab in there. But at this point, wow, that was uh, that was quite quite a night. We got a lot of gold out of that. <sighs> Most are Yoko, and we've got level six mining. Finally, we've leveled mining up. Oh my lord, that took a while. I am very very glad for that. All right, let's ring in the new day. Okay, and uh, of course, pop some more tea on to brew and have a nice cuppa for ourselves. Ah, there we are. Right, let's have a look at the weather report for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day and Walwick, spirits are very displeased. Oh, well that's unfortunate. I guess uh, guess they weren't too happy with what we used the day for <laughs> yesterday, but oh, oh well. What a die, Yoko. Alright, let's get some water in your bowl. There you go. Now then, if I can, I would like to get the gold on the go straight away. Because, again, this is going to take us a while to get through. So, let's get all of that going right now. But that is going to give us an awful lot of options with the, all of the sprinklers. And we've got a load more um, forage down there. Um, hello. Sorry, I'm not good at writing letters. I made one metal bar too many, and I thought you might need it. Clint the blacksmith. Uh, oh, we've got more. Avak, I am researching the forgotten art of shadow divination. I require an item known as Void Essence. Bring it to me and you will be rewarded. Uh, very well, I will bring that over, actually, right away. You know what, we, there's no reason not to. So, let's grab a Void Essence. Uh, let's just double check that it was only one. Yes, okay, fair enough. Won't be a problem at all, then. Right, let's go and take care of all of the forage down here. And I'm thinking, perhaps, we are going to want to go ahead and make some more. And get all of that planted right away. And maybe even get the remainder of the uh, of the tiles uh, set up with sprinklers. I think that would actually be a really good idea. Uh, this is going to slowly drive me mad, though. That particular song all the time. Let's see what we got. That's good. I like it. Okay. Uh, let's make sure that we've got some bait. And we've got some new row as well. There we are. And as was said, uh, a couple of people pointed out, it is actually possible to see whether you have baited the traps or not. And you're quite right. <laughs> it is actually very, very visible once uh, once you know to what to look for. Potter Dark Girls, hopefully you had a wonderful night. There we go. All right, let's get all of these loaded up. Two Iridium qualities, very nice. And we'll pop, oh, wrong place to begin that. Let's pop some fodder down as well. Now we are about halfway through winter at this point. So I'm fancying that we've probably got enough, ooh. I believe, yes, there we are, they've all grown up. I believe we've got enough fodder to be able to make it through winter that's in the silo as is. But it's finally time for us to milk the cows. There we go. It has been a while, my lord. There we are. Now, I'm going to want a cheese maker, I should imagine. Hmm. What is required to make a cheese maker? That's not going to be too difficult, actually. Sure, okay, we can we can go and make one of those, and we'll have it down here in the in the uh, barn as well. There we go. Oh, has the gold just finished being made? That would be rather marvelous if it has. No, sadly. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and get all of the bars. There we go. First and foremost. Oh, first and foremost, actually, I think I best make some. Uh, 
winter seeds so I can use up some of the uh, forage that I've got. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to do much. Uh, let's grab the crocus as well. Now, what am I missing? I am missing the snow yams. So let's make some more. Well, yeah, yeah, we'll make at least two more. Uh, look, we're gonna we're gonna go through it all. I mean, as well. Uh, let's pop these back. There's the forage. We can pop the crocus back over there. There we go. All right, now we want one cheese maker. Done. Now I am going to want ooh, refined quartz. Let's grab all of that. I'm not going to have any issue with that. We want four of these. And there we are. All done and done. We'll have two cheese make makers for now. That'll be perfect. My goodness, that was actually very, very profitable for us. This is going to be great. Get all of that going. Right, oh, we're going to need some sap and fertilizer as well. There we are. Plunk. And... Put that down. Now then. Getting all of this sorted out will take me a little bit. Uh, let's pop down the sprinklers first. Now, this first time around, we're going to need to uh, water the ground ourselves. That should be okay. There we go. Now, we've got 60 seeds here. That should give us a fair old return. And now everything down. Ooh, what fantastic timing. Absolutely marvelous timing, in fact. Uh, okay, well, let's pop some more row in. And I believe we have some in there as well. And then the rest can be made from the blueberries. There we go. And we can simply stack everything up in here. There we are, marvelous. Right. Let's get all of this hoed. Won't take us too long, thankfully. Though the watering will take us significantly longer. But it's fine. There we are. And same up here. A little bit off, but that's okay. We easily have enough seeds to get all of this set up correctly. So uh, we may as well go ahead and prep it all. Right, next up, we are going to want a lot more fertilizer. Let's go and grab you. Let's get a decent amount done. We'll always need more fertilizer, so it doesn't matter if we make a little bit more than I uh, use right now. There we are. And finally, the seeds themselves. And with that, we are done. Oh, that's fantastic. That should bring us a goodly bit of additional winter forage. At this stage, all we need to do is replant the area that we've got. So once the next harvest comes through, we'll simply gather up the, the forage that we need to get everything replanted and then sell what's left. Uh, so that should be... Uh, a decent bit of uh, a bit of an earner for uh, the rest of winter for us. Oh, and let's uh, top that up. There we go. And done. There we are. Marvellous. Over here, I think everything is pretty much where it needs to be. Don't really need to worry about it too much. Uh, right. Okay, let's drop everything off. Uh, we don't need these now. So we're going to pop those all back in there. We don't need the campfire either, so that can go back in. Uh, the sap can be dropped off. Uh, the winter seeds, of course. Uh, where are we going to put the cloth after? Uh, we can also drop off the the fertilizer as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop all of that in there for now. Now, we do need to go and visit Rasmodius before we head into town for the day. It's going to be a bit more of a social day, I should imagine, today. Uh, let's drop off the snails. There we go. And the cloth, I guess, can go down here. I think we may be storing that somewhere around here. Uh, no, apparently we're not. Oh, okay, that's one of the large eggs over there. 
Uh, green algae. Why I've got green algae in there, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm really not sure, actually, about that one. Uh, fair enough. Okay, well, I guess we could hold on to the, the cloth as a gift for, uh, for Emily. Uh, grab all of this. There we go. And we can at least get one more gold on the go. And one copper. Alright, that's actually pretty amazing, all things considered. I'm very, very happy with where that one mining trip took us. We can leave four bars of gold in there as well. Alright then. Now, we've got a chest already in the barn, so I don't need to build another. We can instead just uh, swing by, drop off the cheese makers, load some of the milk into the cheese makers, and the rest of the milk can be uh, kept in the chest. Right, let's pop these cheese makers down. One here and there. And pop all of that in there. There we go. Perfect. Oh, they look so happy sticking their tongues out like that. Remind me of Siri. Okay. Alright, well, let's get over to Rasmodius and say hello then. It is Friday, so we can also drop by the traveling merchant as well. We've got a little bit of money in our pocket. Uh, an ancient sword. Uh, okay, that one is not one that uh, we've handed to... Uh, sorry, it is one that we've handed to Gunther already, so we don't need to worry about that one too much. Hello! What do you have for sale? Four seeds. Um, battery pack, don't need it. Need. Well, we don't actually need that one either at this point. Ooh, the dark couch, though. Yeah, I'll spend 50 on that. Uh, sorry, 500. <laughs> Missing a whole scene. But yes, I actually really do like the dark set. It looks very, very swish. I uh, I greatly appreciate it. Once we've got everything together for that, that'll be wonderful. We'll try and uh, decorate a specific room with dark furniture. Hello, buddy. I believe the townsfolk are afraid of me. It is unfortunate, but I suppose it is human to be afraid of the unknown. Well, here's first and foremost some quotes. Many thanks, this item has some very interesting properties. Also this. Ah, you brought it. You've earned my gratitude and 1,000 gold reward. Now, go. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. I mean, for 1,000 gold, I suppose I can be dismissed. My lord, how rude, though. Right, okay, well, uh, let's see if we can't find... Well, actually, Leah is almost certainly going to be at the saloon as well, so we're going to be able to give a couple of gifts today. That'll actually be really, really lovely. I, I like it when everything kind of... Works out that way. But we will pop in, see if she's uh, in her house before we head over to the saloon. Because it might still be a little bit too early for that. No? Nope. Okay. We will have to check out at the saloon then. Now, we've got something for Emily, something for Leah. A couple of odds and sods for everyone. Oh, there we are. Leah, hold up. Hang on now. Here you go. Pump. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Do you ever get cold in that farmhouse of yours? Uh, sometimes, probably. I do keep the fire on quite a lot. Stop on my cabin if you want to huddle under one of my quilts and drink cider. That is that is such a tempting offer, my lord. Wow. Hello. Pam needs a drink, apparently. Oi, Gus, give me another pint if you're stronger. Another? You won't just walk through the door. Have some tea. You did good with this one, kid. Thanks. You're more than welcome. Also, Gus, have some tea. You've got a long night ahead of you. Oh, goodness, are you sure? I am, in fact, sure, yes. This has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. It's only just started, my lord. Okay, fair enough. If I wasn't so busy, I'd help you dig around in the cave by the lake. That would actually be quite cool. I bet there are some powerful crystals inside there. There are. There are indeed. But not on the topic of crystals. Here's some cloth. This gift is fabulous. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. More than welcome. Hello, Pierre. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday night. Again, I believe that uh, I can't actually give you any more gifts, sadly. Uh, yes, I've, I'm all gift out, gifted out with Pierre. Hello, Sam. Uh, I'm not very good. Mm, if I give the cue ball a bit of top spin, maybe I could... But have some tea. It'll help you concentrate. Thanks. I really like this. Of course you do. It's tea. Also, I begin. Ah, scallywags. Of course. 
The game just doesn't like friendship. One thing I've learned living here, everyone stares at you if you look different. That's a shame, but it's probably true pretty much everywhere. Should I let Sam win for once? Nah. I mean, he wouldn't appreciate the victory quite as much. Uh, if you're right, oh. Poop! <sighs> Start you. Such a scoundrel sometimes. Thanks for stopping by. I need to think about something other than legumes for a while. Uh, you're at the saloon. Why are you thinking of legumes? So, what have we been doing lately? Well, actually, I was down the mine yesterday. I was uh, pretty good. I slew some uh, some lava slimes, and I managed to get an awful lot of gold, which I was very happy with. And on the topic of lava slimes, uh, if you'll excuse me for a moment, that sounds interesting. Yes, it was actually quite interesting. But I have got a certain Mayor Lewis to talk to. Ah, Alex, so you helped us with our slime problem. Thank you. I hope you didn't go through too much trouble. These slimes can be pretty dangerous in groups. It should be a little easier to go spelunking now. Thanks for your efforts. Enjoy your reward. Thank you very much. Good evening, Alec. I'm glad to see you relaxing at the saloon. It's good for you to take a break every now and then. Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I'll have an extra beer in his honour tonight. You know what you can also have? A sip of tea. Wow, this is my favourite thank you. You're more than welcome. There we go, another 500 gold. Hey, Marnie. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I want to talk to you as well. Marnie doesn't seem to notice you're there. Oh, what? After I gave you tea? I understand, I suppose. Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. Uh, okay. Let me help. This looks great, thank you. You're more than welcome. Here you go, Shane. This is great, thanks. I'll definitely be going to the saloon tonight. What else is there to do? Uh, you're already there. Oh my lord, have you already drunk that much? That's tragic, really. My parents were bewildered when I told them I wanted to be a carpenter. They were pretty old-fashioned. I mean, a carp carpentry is a pretty old-fashioned uh, vocation, though. Thank you. This is very interesting spec specimen. My oh, lord. Thanks. This is really nice. You're welcome. You know what? I think a bit of Prairie King is in order. It's been a while. <sighs> okay. Let's see if... I'm up to this. It has been a good while since we played in the arcade games. And we still can't play Juno Mokai yet. I think we've got to get to the bottom of the, uh, the mine to be able to play Juno Mokai. Which, I mean, you know, it, it, it certainly uh, makes it valuable to have gotten down there. I mean, there's lots of other reasons to, to want to get to the bottom of the mine. But, you know, getting to play Juno Mokai is a pretty, pretty convincing incentive. There we go. So far, so easy, and uh, I'm sure it'll ramp up soon enough, though. We may get reasonably far through the uh, initial area before we get to that point. Before we get to the point where it actually starts to get difficult for us. Uh, I think uh, I've played enough now that usually I can get through the, fir the um, first kind of levels, the first wave, without losing any lives. Later on, it starts to get a bit rough, but at the beginning... Lulls you into a false sense of security. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. That being said, when they gang up like that, it uh, certainly gives you pause for thought. Still, we've got nine gold already. That's actually pretty pretty awesome. We're going to be able to afford some nice upgrades right from the get-go. See if we can't get a little bit more, though, as well. I forget how much the prices are. I haven't played Prairie King enough to uh, get all of the prices down. You know what? I need to uh, get that coin and uh, we can hold on to that one for later all right then now sadly we're probably going to run out of uh, the power up yeah before enemies start to show up oh well we've still got a, a nuke power up though in case we need it now i believe that there is a uh, a reward for completing prairie king that gives you your personalized console for Prairie King. That would be amazing. It really would. Right. Okay, this is going to be a bit rough. I've backed myself into a corner. Thankfully, I managed to get through that without too much trouble, but that could have been very dangerous. Oh, you need to be gone. And you need to not be alive anymore either before you become shells, though. So. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, there. Yeah, pop. I, I would like that very much. Oh, my goodness. I was a little bit close. Uh, coffee wouldn't be bad. Okay, I'll in fact use that straight away so I can maneuver it a little bit more aggressively around the field. Okay, 
that was decent, though, though that is going to be a massive problem for me if I let it be, because it so aggressively reduces my mobility around the map. Well, not so much my mobility, but my, uh, well, I, I guess in a way, I'm still as mobile, it's just I've got less choice on where to be mobile. Uh-oh, 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 ah, scallywags, oh well. It would have been great if I could have gotten down there to that nuke, but uh, alas. Yeah, so, okay. <laughs> First life lost on the second level. Not exactly my best performance, I suppose, but... Uh, oh, well. It isn't the worst, either, I suppose. Okay, two power-ups in one place. Three, in fact. Okay, well, uh, I'm okay with that. In fact, I want to keep hold of the uh, confusion until later. Um, We can't get stronger bullets, so I'll go with a better gun for now. There we go. That would have been great, but sadly, no. Okay, so we've got a better gun, so faster fire rate overall. Not terrible. There we go. And let's uh, try and take care of you before you become a thorn in my side. Too late. Okay. Literally a thorn in my side now. Uh, I really want that coin before it disappears. Whoa. That was a little bit uh, close for comfort, I'm not going to lie. Uh, how about down here? There we go. Confuse the everything and get some much better firepower. Okay. Not too bad overall. There are some power-ups that are just so much better to hold on to than others that are really good uh, for controlling the play field. Like, this one is a much better to have in reserve. Though the amount of times I've died with it in reserve is a little bit embarrassing. But uh, that's much better than the Confusion, honestly. Confusion isn't one of my favourites, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but, oop, there we go, a little bit more cash down there. Always a bit of a risk to collect the cash when it's on the, the edge like that. It's so easy to get cornered and killed just as you're coming out of that location. Just as uh, you're moving to collect it and something spawns right on top of you. Uh, though, honestly, it happens more that I get caught while I'm leaving the area rather than when I'm going toward it. It's uh, reasonably easy to avoid something spawning as you're approaching there than it is when you're when you're walking away. Okay. Now, this is a relatively easy location to defend from, but you can get caught off guard sometimes. Uh, these chonky enemies especially can cause problems. But you just got to hold your position. Sometimes the uh, the shelled enemies do make it a lot easier. Uh, at this point, I can, I can guard every direction without issue. But going outside does make this a lot harder because uh, you might not be able to get back in. Uh, I do want that, though. There we go. And uh, as long as I can keep the power-ups flowing, we should be fine. I do want those coins. There we go. Got a bit of a bit of a traffic jam down the bottom, though. Right, there we go. And with that done, I will go ahead and collect that. As long... I don't know if there's any kind of limit to how many enemies can spawn on the screen at once. <gasps> I was totally not prepared for that. I was totally not prepared. I was looking up, and then all of a sudden, too late. That sneaky little shell. I'm so used to them being more of an impediment in a, a kind of a passive capacity than than uh, actually hunting me down and killing me. Uh, well, I guess I've learned a lesson there. Oh, that was not quite what I meant to do, but uh, okay, I guess. I suppose we're going to have a coffee in reserve. But yeah, I should have used that, uh, that uh, nuke there. Like I said, the amount of times that I've died with the nuke in reserve is embarrassing. But oh well. I would like that quite a lot, actually. Now with this, I'm probably capable of fighting outside for a little bit, but uh, we should be fine now. And another shop. I still don't have enough for the better, better bullets. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on to the coins that we've got. It's a shame because we were almost there. You'll never take me alive. Not my plan, I'm going to be honest. Come on in. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Let's see if I can't get these in the right position. Well, generally, it's not too... Ugh. Generally, it's not too dangerous 
to move around, I was about to say, and then proved myself wrong. Every single time. Every time I say, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. That's when it's going to get bad. Now, usually it's actually a little bit more dangerous uh, to move out there with him moving around. Yeah, there we go. That's a bit of a, a bit of a shame. Usually I get through the, the main levels, but oh well, it's been a while since I played. But uh, it's sometimes a lot easier to play that game defensively and only pop out when the uh, when the bandit has has stopped. When the bandit is moving left and right, and if you're trying to, to keep pace with him, yeah, it doesn't go so well. Came all the way through the snow to see me. Yeah, I did. That's nice of you for welcoming. Have a cup of tea. This is cool. Thanks. You're more than welcome. All right, well, uh, let's have a look at the, the uh, quests. I'd like to put a copper bar under my pillow. Please deliver it sometime today. Oh, that'll be awkward. Can I actually deliver it tomorrow? Usually delivery requests don't require that you hand them out on the day. That's uncommon. But we've got a copper bar to deliver to Elliot tomorrow, then. That's not so bad. Uh, right, let's take this out. I, I kind of knew that I was gonna I was gonna have an embarrassing uh, an embarrassing performance on, on Prairie King the moment I, I felt confident enough to say, oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah doing well. I, I'm I'm fairly uh, I'm, I'm reasonably confident at least getting through the early levels. Yeah, you know what? That that was just asking for trouble, asking for trouble. All right, let's go and pop the couch down. Oh yes, I approve. It's not quite centered, and that I don't approve of. But uh, we can we can build out the set a little bit better with time. All right, let's go and grab the bars. And we'll have enough time, I would say, to do a little bit of fishing, I would think. So I'll pop that over there. There we go. Drop off the forage as well. And let's pop that in. And the fruit in there. Okay, that does not go in there, apparently. Oh, I do need to drop off the uh, artifact as well. There we go. All right, a little bit of uh, late night fishing. I don't think that's going to be uh, going to be a problem at all. I think that'll be quite nice. In fact, on the way past, I can make a point of uh, switching over the uh, the cheese, or rather the milk, and loading up the cheese makers again. There we go, and there we go. There, that's perfect. And by the time we get back, we might actually be able to pop a little bit more, a little bit more milk in there. We'll have to see. But we're going to do a little bit of fishing, probably until, hmm, I'd say maybe 11. And then we will swing back to the farm. There we go. Uh, let's pop you over there. There we are. Tonk. <sighs> I should have a cup, of, uh, a cup of tea actually while I'm while I'm fishing, thinking about it. There we go. I mean, it would be nice to have the 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 sea foam pudding, and I am committed to the idea of having infinite sea foam pudding. That just seems like a really really good way of going. I think that would be pretty pretty cool actually. We'll see how it goes. Uh, hopefully, sea foam pudding is reasonably expensive uh, or rather valuable, so that I can sell it for a decent amount. That would actually be pretty nice. There we are, nice bream. Not, not a maximum, unfortunately. But the other things that I could work on... I want to put some crabs on me. I, I believe that you can even put urchins into the fish ponds, which would be quite interesting, I think. I have no idea what you'd get from urchins and coral, but uh, that would actually be kind of cool. A perch, a new record as well. That's very nice. There we go. And this will probably be one of the last casts. Uh, before we head back, I think. There we go. Oh my lord! Okay, you're a you're a fast one, aren't you? You are all over the place. Okay, what have we got here then? Who have we got? I have no idea which fish this could be. And without a trap, Barber, this honestly looks like a bit of a difficult uh, difficult fish. We've got oh, it's a lingcod. Okay, well fair enough. You know what? That was actually pretty cool. We'll try one more. Look, I just like fishing. Okay, shush. And while we've got this uh, tea buff, wow, really? No, I refuse to accept that being my last cast. While we've got the tea buff, we may as well make the most of it. Uh, I know that it doesn't actually help fishing, but it does in my head. All right, 
There we go. Another perfect to wrap up the night. Perfect. Okay, let's go. <laughs> really perfect. Oh my god. Uh, I don't. I don't think enough about what I say before I say it. It seems. Uh, right. Let's uh, head straight back. We will check in on the chickens. We will check in on the cows as well. See if uh, they've made. Uh, if that milk has already been processed into cheese. If it has, then we can pop all of that out into the produce bin at once. No. I was kind of... Uh, I kind of felt it was unlikely that I would be ready. No star girls. There we go. Oh, we've got a good couple of things to drop off, though. There they are. And we should make a decent bit of money. We could put a lot of things into the produce bin uh, today, actually. Uh, the shipping bin, rather, I should say. We have managed to put quite a few things in there. There we go. That will do very nicely indeed. And we can drop off one extra copper bar. We can use that to make some more uh, cheese makers, actually, thinking about it, which would be quite useful. But all things said and done, I think we've had quite a wonderful episode today. A really, really lovely one. And all that remains now is to drop off the last little green algae. We only need one more, and we can look at getting ourselves a new fish pond, and that is going to be absolutely great. But with that, let's go to bed for the night. Now, how much did we make? Quite a quite a nice bit of uh, pocket money there. 5,506 gold. Not bad at all. With that, we may even be able to look at upgrading one of the tools. Do let me know in the comments down below, though, which tool you think we should go for next. My my gut is saying the pickaxe is going to be the most important, immediately speaking. But uh, I am open to the possibility that something else might uh, might be be better. Some of you know a lot a uh, lot more what's coming up next. And again, I will bear in mind that I'm going to have to continue to upgrade my uh, my fishing. Uh, sorry, my fishing can my watering can maybe maybe my fishing can as well and just use it like a net but either way thank you very much for joining me i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you in the next but until then and as always to take care everyone